There's fun and learning around the bend. You can even do it with your best friend. If there's science stuff that you like to know, come watch Allie and Coco Science Show. Hey guys, welcome to Allie and Coco Science Show. We're still in Florida, pretty sure. Yes, we are. I have some really cool footage of when we're still back in Texas. So the footage I'm going to show you is the emergence of the Mexican free-tailed bat. Sometimes it's called the Brazilian free-tailed bat because they do migrate down to Brazil. So their scientific name is Tatarita brasiliensis. That's their name, Colette. So we were at the Camden Street Bridge in San Antonio, Texas, and we were seeing the emergence of one of the largest bat colonies. There's about 50, I believe to be about 50,000 male bats alone. And we were there in early August because that's one of the best times to see these bats is August and September because that's when the bats of born in the summer are starting to go for their first flights. So you get to see a lot more bats. Now you can see bats year round depending on where you are, but um, they do tend to go more toward warmer climates because that's where the insects are. But we were there in August and we saw this huge emergence at the Camden Street Bridge. And we just happened to be there for the Bat Loco event, which was really cool. They had activities for kids. We got to compare a wing length to the largest bat in the world, and which was a type of flying fox. I know, what the heck? And um, so they had activities. Here's another tree, no tree. And uh, they also gave us reusable shopping bags. One important thing about keeping care of your bats, which are gonna take care of you, is to make sure waterways are nice and clean. And plastic bags get in the waterways all the time. We want that water to be fresh, nice, allowing bugs to live on the water. There's a cat. Hey! And we got to see the biggest bats I've ever seen. funny right oh well anyway cool thing about these bats is they are considered the most abundant mammals they live in huge colonies but they have these large colonies in a small number of places so you get to see a lot all at once um, and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life so uh, with that enjoy the footage I'll give you some cool facts along the way and uh, enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Allen Coco Science Show. Today we're here at the Camden Street Bridge in San Antonio, Texas, and we're gonna see the emergence of the Mexican free-tailed bat. <gasps> Coco, what are you looking at? Those silly ducks. So the Mexican free-tailed bat lives in both North and South America, and this colony is one of the biggest, and then there are at least 50,000 males. And we're here in August, and it's per the perfect time of year to come bat watching, because all the babies from the summer are gonna come out too, and they're gonna go zooming around looking for insects. Now in a single evening, how oh, you sleepy? In a single evening, they can catch millions of pounds of insects. So if you don't like mosquitoes, bats are pretty cool. And we're at this event, it's a bat loco event. It's loco crazy. And Atticus is here. And so we're gonna wait around and see some bats.
give us a great ecological importance to our society. Because we eat tons of those pesky bugs we don't like. So, my question is, for the question of the week, how can you help bats out? I would help bats out by cleaning up waterways and building a bat house. So don't forget to comment down below, how can you help bats in your neighborhood? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. We have fun adventures all the time. And there's going to be a bell right down at the bottom. If you want to get notifications from us, ring that notification bell. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, you're so silly. Okay. <laughs>